We welcome you back to AUPanthers.tv. Jim Pittman with Adelphi assistant coach Rich Casella. The Panthers victorious this afternoon, 69-64 against the San Anne's Helms Hawks. Rich, it looked like the Panthers, we started off a little slowly this afternoon. What do you think were the factors on that? I think just, uh, you know, St. A's has a nice team, and they, they throw that zone at you, and sometimes uh, our girls saw that they were open, and they didn't realize how open that they were, and they just hesitated a little bit. And with a little bit of an adjustment, they were able to settle down, and they were they were good to go. Now, Callie Balfour played really well, especially at the end of the first half, really putting up some nice numbers. She's great. She could do so much for us. She's really versatile, which is something that we love. She can uh, play in the outside, but she can cut. She can play in the post, and I think that her versatility makes it a lot easier on us, especially when teams throw different looks at us. It, it allows us to, to be consistent and, and uh, to be able to utilize her in many ways. Well, she was one of three Panthers in double figures this afternoon. She had 15 points, added did Kelly Mannix, and Endo Tron was the game's leading scorer with 16. Kelly wakes up, and she's she's just good for close to a double-double every game because of her work ethic, what she does, what she puts in for the last four years. Uh, so she, she's just such a consistent force for us. Ando's, you know, always great, but it's I think uh, today it was really good, more so the fact that we shared the ball and allowed for good shot opportunities, and that allowed us to get uh, some people in double figures, but also the other people um, that didn't get in double figures, they at least were contributing at the right time uh, with some good buckets. Looked like you attacked this zone by going through the high post. You would send cutters to it, and you would have shooters from the outside. Yeah, you know, any way that we could just make an adjustment, I think uh, attacking the high post there uh, gave us a, a better look, allowed us to uh, rely less on just our jump shooting, and, and gave us a little bit more confidence that we can uh, get easier shots. Right. Now, we lost the first game of the year. It was against Stonehill on Wednesday. You know, being undefeated, you know, it had to be a little bit of a shock with the same aspect. Stonehill, you know, ranked number 12 in the country, so it wasn't that bad of an upset. How did the team handle it after the loss? You know, they're competitors, so they're they're always ready to get back on the court. I think if they wanted, if, if they uh, wished that they could, they probably would have gotten off the bus and gotten right back to practice that night. Uh, they're just a competitive group, and... And, but I think that they all they see the big picture, and that's that's what's really important for us. The Northeast Ten is so competitive that you know every day you're going to be in for a battle. So it's uh, it's something that we we don't need to learn from a loss, but when you lose, you better learn from from something. And I think uh, they have shown uh, a little bit of of what they learned over the last couple of days. Well, last year's rival was Bentley, and Bentley won the national championship, and the Falcons will be here on Wednesday. What do you know about this year's Bentley squad? They're, they got a great coaching staff. They're always going to be competitive. They, they have a, uh, some new players on there learning. So you know as the, the season gets a little bit later and later, they're going to be more experienced and they're going to be a more crisp. They have a couple of nice returners there that are putting in some big numbers for them. So, you know, we come out, we work together, we play, uh, you know, inspired defense, and we're feeling good about ourselves. Terrific. Well, that will be our next AU Panthers.tv broadcast, Bentley and Adelphi on Wednesday evening. Richard, thank you and congratulations. Thank you. Happy New Year. You too.